Jake, uh, how's the first two games of your AFL been going? You've been happy with your form? Oh uh, yeah, I, I wish I could have done a little bit more, but um, yeah, it's been a bit of a whirlwind, and um, yeah, I'm just so, so happy to be able to play the first two games of the year, and um, yeah, very happy to get a win um yesterday against the doggies, but um, yeah, the first two games have been a great experience, and I've learned so much. Winning uh, is certainly better than losing. You've got a bit of a taste of both, haven't you? Yeah, no, nah, definitely. Um, first round is a bit of an eye opener against Sydney. Um, they're a very, very good team, but so are the doggies. But uh, we just played some good footy yesterday, and um. Yeah, he got the win and then, yeah, got, got a Gatorade chair after the game. <laughs> How was that experience, you know, obviously getting over there and not just yourself but three others in there as well? Yeah, it's, all, it's sort of good to know that there's a couple other guys that are in, in, in the same shoes as you. So, um, yeah, I'm good mates with all those boys, so we stick pretty close together and look after each other. So to go through that experience with those guys was something special. The emotion of, sorry, the, emotion of the week before, obviously a loss. How did that, obviously there's a Gatorade chair, but what were the differences be, between the, the two weeks? Uh, I think oh, I think the spirit and the energy was there both games, but I think we just um, with it with our um, game plan and stuff, we executed a little bit better against the doggies, and we were, we were able to play the footy that we want to play, and um, yeah, hit the scoreboard a fair bit, going inside fifty and taking a lot of in marks inside fifty, which is a big thing for us, and um, yeah, it's just a our better brand of footy. As a new player, what does that sort of do to someone like your confidence and, and even Daniel and Liam and, and Willie that's obviously new to the AFL? Yeah, definitely. It's um, yeah, we, I think we all contributed in, in a little ways in in the game yesterday. But um, yeah, it's massive for our confidence to be able to hit the scoreboard and just um, especially when the team's winning. So um, yeah, it's good. A lot of people were sort of saying when Josh wasn't up for round one that you know sort of the end of West Coast and they weren't quite sure where the goals were coming from. But you guys showed yesterday with yourself and the, the two young guys as well in um in Ryan. And, Rioli, that you're able to spread the load and, and, and kick some goals. You must be pretty happy with how it's all kind of meshing at the moment. Yeah, it's good that everyone's hitting the scoreboard. It just, just shows we've got a lot of different options. And obviously, JK is going to come back and he's going to kick his fair share of goals. But until then, we've just got to keep playing footy and all, all contributing on the scoreboard and just, just to play our roles in the forward line and, and keep that going. But um, yeah, it's definitely definitely something that we're, we're pleased about. Would you like to think you could coexist with JK and, and Jack up there as sort of the three medium tall forwards? Yeah, well, I would love to play with JK. He's yeah, he's an amazing player, and yeah, I've just got to keep putting my best foot forward and keep playing some good footy. So um, you know, if, when JK comes back, if I stay on the team, I'll go back to the waffle. You know, just I'll just keep doing what I've been doing. But yeah, until then, just just got, got to keep playing good footy. How did it unfold with uh, with Simo yourself? Did you coach the club? When did, when did the players know before? Uh, just before we hopped on the bus. So um, yeah, we, we were debriefed on what was going on, what the situation was, and uh, thankfully um, the best um, uh, Elsa's out of hospital, and she's she's passed the worst of it. So um, I don't know in full detail what, what's going on, but you know we hope that everything's all right with um, Simo and his daughter. How much of a difference is it? I mean, you've only done the two games, I suppose, so you've had a bit of a taste of Simo, but the change, I suppose, in preparation for the game, was it very different or was it pretty smooth? Uh, no, it wasn't different at all because we, we sort of like, planned for the weekend during the week and um, we know what our roles are and what everything's going to be and the game plan and stuff and the tweaks to that that we're, we're making. So um, it, it just really, really wasn't that different with JJ coming in. It's just it's a bit different um, game day, but... um. Yeah, um, we, we knew what we had to do and, and we went out there and did it. It's a bit of a fall from grace for Jamie Graham because I saw him today bringing back the coffees for the coaches. So he was main coach yesterday and coffee boy today. Uh, all, all, the, all the boys look after each other there. They're, they're all good mates. So I'm sure they have some sort of timetable going for that for who gets the, goes and gets the coffees. But I wouldn't look into that like that. Did you, did you know it all about Adam's daughter before on the, on the bus yesterday? Or um, what were your sort of, I guess, initial reactions when you hear something like that? Uh, no, I, I didn't know. Um, yeah, initial reactions, I was yeah just hoping that everything was going to be all right. Um, yeah, it, it, it's tragic when something like that happens. But, you know, Simo's put his family first. and you know, we're, we're a family club and you've got to put your family first. And, yeah, like I said, we, I, we all just hope everything's all right on that front and um, we, we, we're all here behind him. Did Jamie or Shannon or any of the leaders touch on that before the game as well to make sure that you put in a performance, obviously, with Simo not being there? Oh no, not 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 in, like that in detail. We said we said we we're going to do it for Simo, and um, yeah, it's just a bit of extra motivation that you know our senior coach is is struggling a little bit. But um, yeah, uh, I wouldn't say no, that wasn't a part of the actual game plan talk and stuff like that. But yeah, a bit of extra motivation that we could do it for Simo. So 
Did Simo talk to you before the bus or had he gone? No, nah, he'd, he'd already left. Yeah, yeah he'd already left. So. Tell us about Liam Ryan and what it's like having him around the forward line. Uh, at, two weeks ago, it was Nick Datanui who was the shining light and the excitement machine and then Liam took over on the weekend. Yeah, yeah, he's a freak. He's a freak of nature, and yeah, he, he could have easily kicked six or seven, and you know, taken a, another couple of hangers, which is you know, he's just so explosive, and you know, he's, we're going to see so many great things from him over the journey. He's going to do some remarkable things. Just, just leave her, you know, thinking how does how does he do that? But um, yeah, it was a good start for him, and um, he had some chances last week. Wasn't able to you know hit the scoreboard like he did this week, but um, yeah, he's starting to show glimpses of what he can produce. And it seems like he's already pulling the strings because the club put up on Twitter or Instagram that, you know, he's in first class, flying wrong, he's in first class. Yeah, I actually walked in and I just looked down to my left and he was sitting there with a massive big smile on his face. <laughs> you know, he deserved a business class with the way he played, but um, I'm sure the big blokes sitting up the back weren't very happy with that. <laughs> did you get business at all? Nah. <laughs> no. How did it pan out with him sitting business class? Well, I don't even know. I don't know how they allocated or, or whatever, but... <laughs> You know, I'll be happy with an, with an exit row, row as long as I can stretch my legs out. But you know, if the day comes where I get business class, I won't be complaining. <laughs> Obviously, Liam, where were you when Liam took that mark, and whose was better, Liam's or Nick Nat's? I was right under Liam's. Um, I could sort of saw him get split off his opponent and sort of get a good run on it. So I knew he was going to fly for it, and he brought it down. It was pretty good. But um, I, I'd probably say Liam's a little bit better because I was right underneath it. But you know, Nick's such a big guy, and to be able to jump like that and take big pack marks like that, it's just, yeah, it's unreal, and it's it's good that we can have a bit of excitement, you know, but it brings fans into the game, it's good. So it seems to be the change in the club a little bit, isn't it, with a lot of exciting players, and even Willie, we've got a bit of a taste of what he can do, and he's going to just get better with games, but do you feel like maybe this year's Eagles are more exciting than they have been in years gone by? Uh, yeah, I guess um, having a few new blokes leaves a little extra room for excitement because you sort of don't know what's going to come. And and when we, we produce what we produced yesterday as a team, it sort of leaves everyone, you know, wondering and and really excited about what's to come. And we're going to have some highs and lows over the future. But, um, yeah, hopefully we can produce more highs and... Yeah, we're going to have a fair bit of excitement coming with, with guys like you know Liam and, and Willie. If they keep doing what they're doing, there's going to be a fair bit of it. I think, um, obviously, speaking of excitement, I think it was the, I can't remember, it was the first or the third quarter, I think there was the hand pass over the top and it was the three debut comps from last week. There was yourself, there was Daniel and also Liam. Um, I was almost waiting for you or Liam to call for it, but you were sort of celebrating before Daniel got <laughs> in there to kick his first goal. You were more excited than him, were you? Yeah, I think, I think there was like three of us waiting on the line there and I sort of... I, Dan had a few shots before that, but missed him, and I knew he hadn't kicked the goal yet. So, um, yeah, I was just so wrapped for him. I sort of, he sort of smiled at me when he was grabbing the ball, and I just, yeah, jumped on him straight away. And you know, we're all we're all great mates. So, to see things like that just really, you know, gets us up and about, and sort of, yeah, that's what that's what it's all about, really, for those little moments. And you know, he got around me when I got my first goal last week. So, you know, we're just doing what we can to help each other and look after each other. I think you were sort of almost telling everyone to get down there and remind them that it was his first goal as well, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, I was actually. Um, yeah, I think the boys might have forgotten, but um, yeah, they picked up on it and yeah, in no time they're all down there. Interviewed you and your old man before your debut and your dad said uh, he only had one possession on the boo, so you did better than him, as he said anything in recent weeks? <laughs> no, I think, he, I think he keeps someone pretty quiet that he only had one on debut. My, my uncle, his brother, actually rang me and told me that. I didn't even know that until the other day, so that's good. At least I played a little bit better than him. But um, no, he's just saying enjoy enjoy it because um, I've played two games, but you don't know how many more you're going to play. And um, every time you put on the jumper, you just got to sort of play like it's your last. So um, no, he's not really up in, my, up in my face about, you know, what I'm doing wrong, what I'm doing right. You know, he'll have a chat to me about, you know, some things that, you know, I can control. Um, but he won't go over the top and he'll let me sort of process what's going on instead of him just, you know, jumping over the top and... And saying what he has to say, but um, yeah, he's really good like that. He doesn't really get up in my face about it.